Hi everyone, it's Amy, and as promised today, we're going to talk about anger and negative feelings. Um, now this is not about rage, because rage is anger that is like way out of control. Alright, this is more like when we say things that we're annoyed, or we're irritated, or that we're getting mad, um, those kinds of things. And these are really undesirable feelings. And they can be really destructive, too, because some people go way overboard in trying to hide those feelings and control them. They try to control how they express them, and they even control being aware that they have them. Now, just because you are unaware that you're angry doesn't mean you're not angry. And that anger that you're refusing to be aware of, that is the really damaging stuff. You see, it's damaging because it doesn't get it expressed. Think about it like, think about an old wood-burning stove, all right? In an old wood-burning stove, the smoke is supposed to go out of the chimney, right? Okay, so what if you block off the chimney? The smoke still has to go somewhere, right? So the smoke will come into the room and choke everybody out. Okay, your anger is like that. If you don't acknowledge your feelings, it that anger, those feelings will come out anyhow. All right, um, people do the same thing. Think of a, a red-faced, <laughs> crying, screaming baby that's hungry. They're gonna cry and scream until they get fed. All right, and when we're about five years old, we learn that that kind of behavior just isn't gonna work anymore. It's inappropriate, um, and it's unacceptable to other people. All right, and sometimes we are taught those lessons in a very harsh way. Sometimes um, ch children are hit or beaten or affections are withheld when they express themselves. So we kind of learn that it's an inappropriate way to express ourselves, but we're not necessarily taught how we're supposed to. All right, and as we get older, we learn to be nice, and when we're adults, we're expected to be civil. What happens is that when we're all worried about being nice and being civil, we have these continually unexpressed bad feelings. We try to convince ourselves that we aren't even angry when we really are. This is almost never successful. Anger leaks out anyway, and usually then in an inappropriate way. On the Facebook page that we have, I'm going to post a list of hidden anger, like a hidden anger checklist, but it has things on it like sighing and silence and grinding your teeth and all those kinds of things, but it's a big list. But they are behaviors that are signals that you're bottling up negative feelings. Some of the things on the list um, are caused by things other than, than anger, like procrastination, which can be caused by anger. You're putting something off that you're supposed to do for someone because maybe you're angry at them. But procrastination can also be there because of fear of failure. But um, look at the list. It's worth looking at because you may find that you have some buried resentments. And if you're a human being, you have them. Um, you need to unlearn some old bad habits uh, about how you deal with anger and learn some new good ways of handling bad feelings. Getting rid of a, a lifetime of resentment, though, is really a huge job. So yesterday we talked about three ways that you process your feelings. You recognize your feelings, you own your feelings, and then you have to discharge your feelings. So let's break it up. First, recognizing the feelings. Um, this is very often recognized, which we talked about yesterday also, with some bodily signals, things like blushing and shortness of breath, foot tapping, headaches, neck aches, um, putting your thumb in your fist like this. These are all signals, and, and the list is really en endless. Um, but if you're depressed or feel sad, think about the last 24 hours that you've had. Depression is usually repressed anger. So were you angry in the last 24 hours? Uh, review your day. Throw away being a nice guy for a minute. Think of yourself as the, the touchiest, most irritable person. 
and and totally unrealistic and figure out why you might have gotten angry even if it wasn't maybe it wasn't justified doesn't matter think about what happened in the last 24 hours and chances are you didn't realize at some point that you were angry all right now owning it the anger the anger is yours congratulations um someone might have pushed your buttons but the button is yours. The feeling is yours. You can't blame anyone else for your feelings. No one else is responsible for your feelings. Blame does not help at all. Feelings are there. Uh, they're a part of you the same way your skin and your organs are a part of you. And no one can tell you that you should feel any kind of way. Should and feel should not even ever be used together. Um, knowing what your feelings are and figuring them out and what to do about them is the best thing to do. So now you've got these, <laughs> now you've got these feelings of anger, these negative feelings. Now what do you do? How do you discharge them? Well, first of all, do not hide your feelings. Probably won't be successful anyway. Anger demands some kind of expression. And once you recognize and own your feelings, now you have a choice of where and when and how to express this anger. Explosive verbal expression is, for the most part, self-defeating, especially in friendships or other interpersonal relationships. Um, just, I understand that just saying, I'm angry, or I don't like it when, dot, 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 whatever, um, may not seem very satisfying, but it is so much better than doing nothing, and it is so much more productive than exploding. You can't afford in most situations to delay, recognize, and owning your anger. All right? So next time, we are going to discuss grief and loss, which is something that almost all of us have experienced. All right? So you see, even though these videos are designed and part of a sex offender rehabilitation program, the truth is, today is a perfect example. This is something that would be good for anyone to hear. We all have anger, we all have negative feelings, all right? So share the video with someone who you think it might help. Subscribe to the channel, get in touch with me through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, smoke signals, I don't know, however you want to, get in touch with me. And until next time, be well.